Echinococcosis. Echinococcosis. A parasitic disease caused by the larval stage of tapeworms in the echinococcus. Types. Cystic echinococcosis, common, caused by E. granulosis sensu lato. Alveolar. Echinococcosis, common, caused by E. multilocularis. Polycystic echinococcosis, less common. Unicystic echinococcosis, less common. Cystic echinococcosis is mainly a disabler, while alveolar. Echinococcosis is fatal if left untreated. Symptoms. The disease often starts without symptoms and this may last for years. The symptoms. Depend on the cyst's location and size. Alveolar disease usually begins in the liver, but can spread to other parts of the body, such as the lungs or brain. Liver is affected. Abdominal pain, weight loss, along with jaundice. Lung is affected. Pain in the chest, shortness of breath, and coughing. Diagnosis. Medical imaging. Ultrasound, court, MRI, blood tests. Looking for antibodies against the parasite. Biopsy. The presence of acellular laminated membranes confirm the diagnosis of hydatid. Cyst. Transmission. 1. Meat-eating animals, e.g. dogs, foxes, wolves, eat the organs of an animal, e.g. sheep, rodent, that contains the cysts. 2. Meat-eating animals become infected by the parasite. 3. The eggs are released in the stool of them. 4. Humans become infected when they ingest food or water that contains the eggs of the parasite or by close contact with an infected animal. Prevention. Do not ingest the eggs of the parasite. Wash the hands after handling dogs, and before handling food. Do not consume any food or water that may have been contaminated by fecal matter from dogs. Restrict home slaughter of sheep and other livestock. Control animals. Avoid contacting animals. Limit the areas where dogs are allowed. Prevent dogs from consuming meat. Infected with cysts, rodents, and other wild animals. Control stray dog populations. Avoid contact with wild animals such as foxes, coyotes, and stray dogs. Vaccinate sheep. Treatment. Anthelmintic. Albendazole, mebendazole, pear, percutaneous aspiration, injection of chemicals, and re-aspiration, using either ultrasound or court, aspiration of the cyst contents via a special cannula, followed by injection of a scolicidal agent, formalin, hydrogen peroxide, hypertonic saline, chlorhexidine, absolute alcohol, and cetramide, for at least 15 minutes, and then Reaspiration of the cystic contents. This is repeated until the return is clear. Surgical. Intervention. To remove the cyst.